We're running out of time, dude. We Listen. Have like 53 days till 2K17 service goes down, bro. We but you know what happened. Shut go. Yo, wait. Because you wasn't going to ask no questions in there, man. Yo, Phantom. <laughs> you wasn't going to ask no questions. I'm fighting for, for the community, I'm man. I'm fighting for the community, bro. Dribbling must feel like a dream. Oh, my God. <laughs> this responsiveness, I never really thought I would feel on any, any 2K game. Durling, there's a server here, there's a server here in Ashburn. Down here, right over Route 606 near Herndon, there's another server there that I know of. Oh my god, what if I walk in there and I'm like, hi, I'm Agent Beamstar, I work uh, for a news network and I'm looking to ask some questions. So what happened? So we got to Virginia, uh, and at first, it was a nice ass place, big ass house. We were excited. Davis bought the PS4, I bought all the cables, and uh, we didn't know where the modem was, so I don't think we connected on Ethernet, but we were pretty excited. I can't help but smile. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's good? Uh, we made it to Virginia, we booked into the Airbnb. You might have thought I was trolling when I said it on stream or even on Twitter. We're in Virginia, north of Virginia. Amazon Web Services has a bunch of their servers here, and they're all within like a two, three minute drive. And 2K uses Amazon Web Services as their servers. Long story short, I'm here to visit the 2K servers. I have to do some analysis. First things first, where the f are these servers? How like how expensive is that? Because my thinking is, like they do that for like so, so the first four days of 2K's launch, I've literally felt fantastic. Everything about it was fantastic. There was some issues with like people couldn't buy VC or whatever, but in terms of gameplay, never felt better. On like the fourth or fifth day, it started to go to like and I was getting the variable latency. So if you're playing in Ajax, you gotta go through a hop and then go across the freaking world to Virginia. But if you live in Virginia, the hop is so close that you're gonna have better latency permanently. There's nothing you can do. Unless you run fiber optic from here to freaking Virginia and pay $17 million. But can't they just solve it by paying more? I feel like that'd be the easiest solution. They can. They can. They can. Many companies now use something called the CDM, just content delivery network. And essentially they set up mini servers throughout the world, depending on how much money they want to spend. So now if you want to contact 2K servers or Netflix servers, you're not going to California to contact your servers. There's going to be one local in Toronto or Montreal or wherever. So you contact that and then that has caching information and all that kind of stuff. And then your, your latency is to that server as well as the server halfway across the world, right? Of course, there's matchmaking issues because now if someone's in Virginia and you're on different servers, it gets all tricky. But if you put more money into it, you're going to have way better performance. So I was reading this article and it was detailing a bunch of different places where Amazon has their services here in the Virginia area. If you guys play 2K in the East Coast, you're likely connected to these servers here. And so the further you are away from the server by proximity, the longer your latency and delay is going to be. Do you see this guy? Cloud chase. Yeah, he's literally cloud chasing. Well, yeah, no, Davis, go back downstairs, bro. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Yo, just get out. Come on, dude. So right now we're here in Sterling. There's a server here. There's a server here in Ashburn. Down here, right over Route 606 near Herndon, there's another server there that I know of. And there's one server like a little bit south here. And this is the one that I've seen already. And I'm going to revisit it in a second. Um, so that's that's what we're doing today, ladies and gentlemen. We're being, we're being too nosy. We're trying to find answers. The 2K servers have been trashed for a whole decade. Explain it to me. They have the resources to make it work. And we've seen games with decent servers. So why can't 2K do it? That's a good, solid question that we're going to find the answer to today, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Hopefully, I see Ronnie 2K there, and we're going to throw hands. Oh. No, we're not. Show, show we're going to shake show, hands. Hey, show him how you throw hands. Show him how you throw I hands. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh. <laughs> As to not draw any suspicion, we're in Virginia, the north of. I wanted to fit in. I got myself a neat little pickup truck. Check out the big body, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the big body. Never in my life would I ever drive or purchase a pickup truck, so I figured it's my. Hey, life is about experiences. Because I was gonna get the Camaro at first. Or there's literally people that are such toxic individuals that have no lives that they'll. DDoS the servers, they call them delayers, and they'll attack the servers to the point where you can't even play. They'll lag you out of the game, or you experience very short, sudden bursts of insane frame drops and lag. How is it not possible to e easily find the person and ban them? They don't get banned. The only way they get banned is if they get caught saying it on a stream. Who's gonna self incriminate? You have to be an idiot to incriminate yourself. Oh my! His lag switch broke! His my lag switch broke! Bro, look at the ball! Look at the ball! Oh my god! No, so the way most companies ban people who are doing DDoSing is they use technology like Cloudflare, which is essentially just smart software that can detect what happened. So if someone is, let's say, 
pinging a server from a specific IP address, let's say a million times a second, mm -hmm. then they'll say, okay, they're not trying to contact us for any game purpose, they're trying to attack us. So they'll block the IP, right? But because you're playing 2K and 2K is very latency sensitive, you want people to have good connection speeds, you want to start blocking people because they might be contacting your server quickly because they're in a game or something else is happening, right? So they can't tell the difference. They can tell the difference, but you don't want to isolate or um, isolate specific people of your community by accident, right? So if you're a kid who doesn't know anything about networking and he's playing, and you have nine people in your house who are playing the same game, that one IP might be contacting 2K a lot. All right, so check it out. It's like midnight right now and the streets are empty. So I think it's a good time. We're going to check out the servers. They're not going to let us in, but take this in. We went to Chick-fil-A because we don't have it in Canada and I figured I might as well. And I walked into a guy who was wearing a shirt that had AWS badge on his shoulder, Amazon Web Services. And I was like, what are the odds? So I struck up a conversation with him and at the earliest convenience, the dude just cut. I was hoping to like maybe get an answer, sneak in a server, you know, install a virus, <laughs> something illegal. All right, let's uh, let's go to the server. <laughs> yeah, y'all playing, bro? <laughs> All right, so check it out. We're here right now, and I want to head to a place called Loundin Quarries. Also, in Virginia, they literally do not use lights. Oh, man. That's crazy. Like, in Toronto, it would be insane to have no lights. It's like these guys don't pay taxes. All right, so check it out. We're at Land Loundin Quarries. Now, this place was supposed to have been in construction, apparently, like, last year, but I don't see anything. All right, point it there. That's the location. That's a 2 great server. There's, there's, so there's <laughs> nothing there. All right, so we're here now. Nothing there. I've been to this one a little bit earlier today, and I'll show you that one. It's closed right now, and they obviously wouldn't let us in anyway. But what if like Ronnie 2K is just behind the scenes sabotaging servers with a sledgehammer? Just good, good, bow. Oh my God! What if I walk in there and I'm like, Hi, I'm Agent Beamstar. I work uh, for a news network, and I'm looking to ask some questions. Can you imagine playing online and feeling as responsive as playing offline? Can you tell me, just visualize one ping, my guy. You can't. Are you dreaming? You can't. It, I saw people do it. It said, one guy, it said, a lucky, I'm not joking. It said zero ping, my guy. How is that possible? If you have, if you have a, a 10 ping advantage, you're probably gonna win. If you have a 30 ping advantage, that, that guy won't even see you. He'll be dead before you even <laughs> Jabs Jabs plays on like one one to seven usually. Once, because he's in UK, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the place is so small, the server's there somewhere, you're not too far from wherever they locate the server. And I think 2K also has a server in Germany. I don't know if they have one in the UK, but I know they have one in Germany. So if you're in Germany, you're super blessed, or if you're near Germany. On 2K, I hit up Mike Wang, I was like, bro, could we at least get the ping number? And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot it, but I don't think people are gonna respond to it. Now, all PC games have that. saying, but if you're contacting the server per, like almost every second, or every half second, every millisecond, adding that in shouldn't be that difficult. You're already, you already have the information, just show it on the screen. The one downside I see is that if everyone sees their ping, you have more complaints, because now you have physical data, right? You can't say, I lag. No, you say, I have 87 ping in, in, in Ajax. And the ping only matters relative to who you're playing against, right? If you all have 30 ping, then it's a fair game. It's the same thing. Yeah, if you have a ping, one ping and I have 100 ping, I lose. No matter what. Right? So you can't just say, you can't just say I'm gonna count ping. It's how much is your ping relative to the people in your game, right? No, not really. Because even if like we both have 100 ping, it'd be a fair battle between us, but it would still be a bad experience. No, no, it'd be terrible. But if you both have 30 ping, it'd be more, it'd be easier to, to deal with than one versus 30. Because yeah. one versus 30, I, you, I can't guard you. It's over. Yeah. Right? 30 on 30, passable. Anything over 30, uh... I'll keep it above. Actually, I legitimately think their numbers are in the 200s. I know you think I'm joking, yeah, but I'm not why, joking. Why would they show that on the screen? Because it would be helpful to us. It wouldn't, because you want to go on Twitter? Bro, look at my 487 <laughs> pin. Bro, look at my 6.2 million pin. So then we went to another location, and that location had three different buildings. And they had one security guard and like a couple metal detectors. And we talked to that security guard for a bit. <laughs> Bring back 2K. Yo, 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 Wildy. Yo, yo. <laughs> right, come on, dude. Yo, all right, I'm out of here, bro. What a dumbass, bro. <laughs> there it is, yo. I think that's wrong. I'm gonna take you guys on a motherfucking adventure. Give me can, yo, man. Yo, yo. Let's go, dude. We finna bring back 2K17 servers, man. Wait, pause. 2K15 servers. Okay, close, bro. If the door's open, can you hold record camera? I think I got the camera. Damn, don't be dumb. Bro, I'm a gangster. Oh, right here? Hey, I gotta do a quick question. Is the 2K servers here? The 2K servers. The servers for 2K. Servers, no? Amazon servers. Amazon 
Do they have? Do they? Do they host the servers here? No. Do they host the servers here? No, no. They don't. No. You know what they do? Yeah, they don't. No, do you know where they where it's at? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know. Where all right, thank you. All right. Because they're not gonna do it. Yeah, I mean, some of them are stupid. But you have to not. pay people to monitor the reporting logs, right? To so hire people, basically. Cost money. Yeah, you have to hire people to cost, cost money. money. <laughs> you get so much money, just hire the guys, man. If you can make a billion a year, or 600 million a year, what are you gonna take? Uh, but that's the thing, if you even, even, I'll take the billion, but if I took the 600 million, my thinking is, People would enjoy the game more. The player base would not go down with frustrated people who don't think the game is working properly. And then that would eventually make it, like it wouldn't be 600 million, it'd be higher. Well, gaming is the most finicky market there is, right? You can say, oh yeah, we're gonna keep our current player base, but what's gonna happen in two years, right? Fortnite came out, what, two years ago, right? And PUBG went from the king of everything to no one gives a right? And you can say, yeah, PUBG put a million dollars in marketing, nah, it's gonna, not gonna make a difference. Right, because Fortnite came and revolutionized the model, right? Free game, do whatever you want, and buy additional perks and whatever, right? And along with the whole um, Battle Royale concept and Co Call of Duty copy it, whatever, whatever. So in one year, they might not have half the player base. They might not have a quarter, you don't know, right? So how are you gonna tell the, the CEO of Take-Two or whatever, spend half a million dollars, no, like $500 million, when there's no guarantee you're gonna make the money back? I feel like there is though, because they've been a successful franchise increasing every single year. But you know really? what happened? Shut Yo, wait. Cause right. you wasn't gonna ask no questions in there, man. Yo, Phantom, <laughs> you wasn't gonna ask no questions. I'm fighting for, for the community, I'm man. I'm fighting for the community, bro. You're okay, just they dumb. can't really see your faces because of the on angle. On a serious note, okay. Unless you guys stand we have on that side. We're running out of time, dude. We Listen. have like 53 days till 2K17 servers go down, bro. Oh my, the... Bro, what if oh they... yeah, what if we convince them to keep him on? <laughs> Yo, that'd, that'd be oh, insane. We'd be what here. if we pull that off? Honestly, I don't want those garbage ass servers on. Bring yeah, 16 right, back. See, bring 16 nah, back. Nah, nah. Yeah, nah, bring 16 back. We don't want 15, 17 back. There's no way he works here and doesn't know where the servers are. Right? I thought he was going to be like mad helpful and be like, yeah, no, actually, right that building right there. If you walk in and use the code 8432. All right, bro. <laughs> he ain't about to do all that. But if, it's, if they're just renting the servers, let's say like Red Dead, let's say they pay a ton of money for Red Dead servers to make sure when the online comes out, which for some reason is still not out, is perfect. Let's say three years from now, they don't need that no more. Can't they just take that and move it to another game that yeah. they're under? Yep. So then, what's the thing? Even if 2K just for whatever reason just vanished and we forgot everything about it, they can literally move that stuff to any other game Take Two makes. Yep. Oh, then there's really very little risk. Because yeah. there's probably some contractual obligation, like they can't reduce their current um, purchasing by like 80% or something. Let's, let's say 2K flops, Red Dead flops, Take Two gets bombed and half the people quit or whatever. Dude, it's like you trying to demonetize the video. Who can go bomb? Why would you say that? So then we found the third place, and the third place is where I think the server was. And we drove by one time, and I was like, did I just see bare security guards and metal detectors and way too much security for anything going on at 2 a.m. We drove back a second time super slowly and Davis had the window open with the camera like this, even though it didn't focus for half of it. That's where I think they were. So it was like an eight minute drive away and it ran perfectly, which means if you're in the neighboring states, you probably have the most amazing 2K experience and you won't even know it. All right, so literally that night, we ended up setting everything up and I couldn't find the ethernet cable. We just did it wire wirelessly and it was glorious, dude. Like, so anyway, um, we hooked everything up and it ran super fantastic. Davis was sleeping behind me, so I don't wanna be super loud. All right, so I got everything set up on the B&B. The internet's looking cool. I got 58 down, 35 up and the ping is eight milliseconds. I'm running this wirelessly because I don't know where the modem is and the guy, the owner of the house is not responding, so I'm not entirely sure. I literally came equipped with a 100 foot ethernet cable, but seems like it won't be useful. I'm on the park, uh, <laughs> hopefully I don't get any L's. <laughs> I kinda just wanna compare and contrast. The idea being, if you're very close to the server, you should have incredibly low amounts of latency and the game should feel very responsive. Oh my God. I feel like I'm playing a game on my career. Everything is moving so quick, so responsive. Dribbling must feel like a dream. Oh my God. <laughs> this responsiveness, I never really thought I would feel on 
any, any 2K game ever. That is literally the worst shot you could have taken. Yo, imagine playing with my career responsiveness online. Oh my God. Like this, this is what I'm talking about. This is an insane advantage for anybody who lives nearby the server. Because the stuff I have to deal with in Toronto, like nobody should ever have to deal with that on any online game. I couldn't really see my jump shot there, but it hit. The camera was in the way, whatever, it hit, it hit. How is this not the biggest of all advantages? Especially on the defensive end, when you you can, you literally should not ever get beat. There's not going to be any missed inputs. There's not going to be any 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 sort of lag or I haven't had not one frame drop. And I'm playing on the left court. Usually the side courts get a lot of frame drops. From me. At home, I have every possible piece of equipment that should help me reach optimal settings. And when I play on PC, I get them, and I never have any complaints. But when I play 2K, I don't get them. If I had millions of dollars to blow, I would buy a house in Virginia, call it a gaming house, and anytime I had a very important game to play, I would fly here to play it because being that responsive, that on top of things, is the biggest of advantages in the competitive environment. I'm good, sir. Uh, yo, can we, show the, can we show the world that this guy literally has a server in his room? It's not even that well, much. Well, look, look, he has a server right there. not that much. I've never met somebody that literally owned a server. What do you do with servers? Server stuff. <laughs> you do server stuff with servers. Right. Yeah, look. Yo, we literally walked in here and we wanted to ask him to be a part of the video and then we saw the server in his room and we knew it was like, literally meant to be, my guys. All right, Hamdi, we're eating a burger. I need hot sauce. Which one are we using? None of them. <laughs> so you just use no hot sauce? No, I have another one that I have to go buy. <laughs> then why is that the most humble answer of all time? <laughs>